reacting to my Premier League predictions. I didn't make a video for it this year. I put it in one of my career mode videos. I got three right for the championship. Sheffield United, Peter Barra and Hull. I should get a point just for putting Huddersfield about 20th. I was still in a Swansea career mode then, so I put them third. Even though I said that they would be between 12th and 18th. In the Prem now I've got 7 correct, which is surely a record. Done this about five times. And City nearly bottled it. Chelsea nearly bottled it. Their forms died. Leicester somehow right. Palace I always get correct somehow. Norwich correct obviously. Burnley I said would go down. And also Southampton finished 15th. And then show the whole screen. I really wanted to put Spurs above Man United, as I think Oli could get sacked. But if I did that, then I'd be deluded. Like Harry Kane wanted to join Man City then. This was before Man United got Ronaldo. I've been doing a Spurs career mode all year. Nuno was the manager at the start of the season. He lasted about eight games. Man United beating them 3 0 was the result of the season. Burnley 19, lack of squad depth, could end up getting injuries. Ben Mee got injured, was assistant manager. Sean Dyche got sacked. He told Chris Wood to a relegation rival at the time. Ball 16, depends on how good Raul Jimenez is after the head injury, plus they lost Nuno and Rui Patricio. Both these saw was insane. And how many goals did Jimenez get? Six. There was the two yellow cards being against Man City. I will have a look at every team, might as well start with Wolves. Jimenez actually has the most goals for them. Their backup striker is Fabio Silva, and he's awful, even though he's 19. Adama got loaned out, went back to Barca, started off well, and has now flopped. Gibbs White needs to play for them next season. I need to check Pedro Neto's stats. One goal that was today. He had a knee injury. Check last season when he got that. One assist against City. Middle of April. That's one reason I put them 16th. 4 0 lost to Burnley at home. I think Chris would have got a hat trick. They were 8 forever. I think they didn't want Conference League. More defeats at home, more goals conceded at home. Started the season off with three 1 0 losses. 2 0 win against Watford. The first goal he scored was an on goal. 0 0 with Norwich and Burnley. Oh, look at that form. Only the top four have a better defence. And only the bottom three have scored less goals than them. The mighty Norwich next. At least you might win one of them next season again. Their highest position was 19th. I support Watford and having one less point than us is embarrassing. How many points did they get two years ago? 21. They're improving. Show the table. It's the same again, by the way. Norwich Watford and a crap team starting with B. Yeah, 11 games to get a win. 
and off, wait, an hour after that game, they're going to suck Daniel Falk. Three good results in a row. I'll get to that Watford game. Because I know when they get Man City and Liverpool in a row, and then only one win after that. They also beat Wolves in that run of form. They saw Bundia. I don't think he's that good anyway. Todd Cantwell, I knew he was overrated. Billy Gilmore, trash. The I thought he'd be good. No. Same with Trollis. Norman was good. Kabak. I knew they were going down when he signed him. The Goats still scored 11. And yeah, I knew Sergeant only scored twice against Watford. That's embarrassing. Sargent did get in roots versus Liverpool. They signed two players from relegated World of Women. What did they expect? Watford. 15 home defeats. I think it's 11 or 12 in a row. 27 defeats is one more than Norwich. I don't know what the worst is. Derby had 29. Last season, the pitch roll was a fortress. 19 wins, 2 draws, 2 losses. This season, 2 wins, 2 draws, 15 defeats. 12 conceded at home. I know it's a different league. The team is so different from last season. Did they not watch Fulham a few years ago? That team last season, Chalabas started a lot, and Femenia was a right back a lot. I'm glad I came on this because Oliver Skit was massive for them. That was the team against Arsenal, Tom Coverley starting in 2022. I think Kamara won't this season, I hope he stays. What the fuck happened to Chilean Maldini this season? I'm 95% sure he scored the young goal against Wolves. Is that why he got dropped? I don't watch Watford as much as other people. I should say how many games I've watched this season. Yes, yeah, Volta didn't start for the first half of the season. He played in Ivic's last game. And then under Cisco, Drifted Kong and him. Okay, the live games I watched. I think I can't get to it because you're old on poor. 2 0 against Brighton. One nil to Arsenal. From Chelsea to West Ham I watched all of them. The games ain't in order because of the coronavirus postponed games. I watched Norwich. West Ham, Brighton, Villa, the stream was crashing, so no. Arsenal watched, it was on TV, Kuchel's overhead kick. Southampton, couldn't find a stream. Everton, I watched. Liverpool, the stream was crashing. Leeds, I didn't watch. Brentford didn't watch, Man City I watched, Jesus scored 4, Burnley didn't watch, Palace I watched, and I didn't watch them too. 16 games, 14 defeats, and 2 nil nil draws. I haven't seen Watford win live since Norwich away last season. Not given who's and Chalabar new contract was awful. Dini not being around the club might have made an impact. If that team got relegated, the current team had no chance. That was the restart season and Villa came back a different team. Plus the Sheffield United goal thing. That team was never getting to 36 points, 
so might as well just get the relegation over and done with. Watford get loads of injuries every season, so Ben Foster, loads of other people at a table. There's also the Dennis thing with AFCON, he couldn't go. Watford got the first green manager for next season. He nearly bottled it, they were like 15 points clear. Fiverr with Oldham. And they got the manager behind their back. Look at the form. At the moment I don't think Watford will go up. Newcastle relegated Burnley and now they're probably going to go with some of their better players. Weggles only scored twice. Must win game and you play fire the back. I swear Burnley never win when Kevin Long starts. I never hear about Dwight McNeil anymore. He got linked to like inside the Reynolds. Opening day against Brighton, James Tarkovsky scored in the second minute. I thought I'm an idiot for putting him 19th. Normal pie and Alexis McAllister. People said they would stay up because it's Burnley. I think Fog Dad said they would go down. I said Sheffield United would get relegated last season. They didn't score one goal against Norwich. 2 0 and 0 0. That's just the serve relegation then. Corning missed a penalty against West Ham. That would have made it 2 0. Leeds took four points off them this season. I was actually watching this. Leeds next. I thought Wolves or them would struggle. They don't have to swap that either. I've not seen anyone mention this. Ankle injury comes back, scores in the 95th minute. Gets injured celebrating, hamstring injury, and he gets injured again. Last season didn't get injured at all. I think it said 17 goals. I said he would flop, but he wasn't even playing. Second season syndrome was real for these lot. On 59 points down to 38, was in their highest position this season, 15th. The big clubs absolutely destroyed them. Spurs got Bielsa sacked, right decision in the end. Everton, Watford tried relegating them. Neil knew what they but they had to go beat Man United, Palace, Chelsea, and Arsenal at Goodison. It looked like they were going to finish top six. I watched that Villa game as well. What feels like Leon Bailey's only game for Villa. I watched the Burnley game as well, Andros Townsend's goal. And then he did the sue at Man United. And then disappeared off a lot. And I was watching the West Ham game. Am I a secret Everton fan? Gray's 90th minute winner against Arsenal. Probably my goal of the season. Or Josh Sargent's first against Watford. Yeah, I was watching this as well. Red card to Allen. 90th now will be scored. Don't know where the goal is on here. Stay on it. So far, 90 plus 9. And then on the Friday, Wolves were 2 0 up against Leeds, and Leeds go and win it 3 2. That was when I knew Watford were down. Two wins away. Left start and Brighton. 
can even remember when that Vic has rolled. So there's a problem there. It's clear that the Everton fans are the 12th man. Southampton. I got this one right. Didn't Pi please put them 9th? Please go watch Ball. Supports Plymouth, can't blame him. 3 1 0 wins there. Bill Broldrar, Che Adams, Armstrong. Three different strikers. Will Prowse needs to go to the World Cup and needs to be in a team in the top half. So I put Villa 7th. Can't blame you with all this. I think everyone put them top 7. Watford did the double over these. Relegate them to Momentum FC. I've basically got the B clubs mixed around. So Watford 14th and I put Brentford 18th. It looked like they were getting relegated, and then Christian Eriksen came in, like what, for a Premier League team that won the playoffs. Brentford's games against us are the most depressing thing ever. Dennis, Ponish Jansen, Chuster Kong gives away a stupid penalty, 90 plus 6. I don't even think that team's that good. No Tony. That's the season just gone. I don't really know who most of those players are. And I play career mode. The home game. No guards. Did a long throw in. Dennis equalises. And then Imran Luzar misses a sitter and they go down the other end. Pontus Johnson 90 plus 5 again. Kill me. Tony 12. He got the hatchery against Norwich. I'd imagine he scored about 6 penalties. I like Whistler, he's underrated. Palace beating United got my prediction right. And Newcastle being like the most third informed team in the country since 2022. From 15th to 9th all season, I ignore the opening day, how fun. Their only wins in 15 games were against Spurs and City Wolves. That's it. Newcastle's performance chart will be interesting. When it loads, he wins at home. They always start the first half of the season badly and finish about 10th. I'm not even lying there. I always say Brighton do well, I said they'll finish 13th, finish 9th. Like how? They only won five games at home. Forty-two goals. Yeah, they definitely have some good players. I've rated Trossard since they signed them. And Wepu Welbeck six. Kukavella. Basuma. They'll never get relegated really with Dunk in the team. Tariq Lamptey on the bench. Where did these lot get these numbers from? I know they stat padded, stat padded against Watford three times. Not really seen much of these three. They were nine forever and scraped eight from the last day of the Foxes. Let's see if I finally got injured in pre-season. He actually scored on his 
for turn against PSV or someone else. I think that's Ren actually. Saved it in the last second. Didn't even look. I said West Ham would finish 10th. They're battling for top 4 in the first half of the season. Then they were focusing on the Europa League. Then the Conference League this next season. There's still a bit of a banter club though. Kidderminster. 90th minute and 120th minute. Jesse Lingard scoring against his old club, and then Mark Noble missing the penalty. Also, the Suma kicking the cat. Letting Jack Harrison score a hat trick in your stadium. Probably one of your biggest games ever, and you concede in the first minute. I don't know why I'm bantering them when my team finished 19th and had the worst season ever. How's this Pratt suddenly the best centre back in the league, by the way? That brings a tear to my eye. And they're shopping at a hole for more ballers, Jared Bowen. Wait, Yarmolenko's gone. Did that red card ruin Antonio or something? I wish I could set Twitter to that day and read the tweets. Absolute state. Like you beat Leeds 6 2 last season. Even Man United's Twitter was posted in the league table. Like oh, two teams have played. Four actually. Starting from March, I would never think these were Man United's results. I think it's Brentford's. Brentford were good leads. They didn't lose away last season. And then this season, they're losing 4 0 to Brighton, 4 1 to Watford, 4 2 to Leicester. I could probably go on. 1-0 to Everton and Palace, 3-1 to Arsenal. No way Greenwood scored more than Rashford. Absolute embarrassment. And yeah, Ronaldo and Bruno didn't work at the World Cup. It was the Euros actually. Greenwood got more than Central as well. Man United are finished. Arsenal, how far were Spurs behind them when Spurs lost 2 0 to Wolves at home? I think it actually tells me on the BBC website. Okay, they just dropped to 8th. Arsenal and Spurs had the same games played. I think it was much worse than that at one point. The game before that, they brought it to Southampton. Also losing to Burnley. They won this match, they'll be in the top four. Erdegaard. I think he should have been sent off. Can't remember. Richardson, Demar Gray. Southampton lost 6 0 the week before to the Chelsea, then you land them win with a clean sheet. Fraser Forster was insane, and Spurs assigned him. Losing to Brighton at home when they were in bad form. The week they had to beat Spurs away. Palace 3 0. It's a tough game on a Monday night. I do think they actually got done dirty with the fixture list. Friday night at Brentford, their first game. Always going to lose that. Even Man City would probably lose. Newcastle away on a Monday night, their last game at home. Thursday night at Spurs, to be fair, I think they postponed it Arsenal in January. 
Man United away, they were winning. That was the De Gea thing. It was on the floor. Bruno Ronaldo, Odegaard, Ronaldo penalty. Arsenal did win that thing last season on Aubameyang. If they had a Aubameyang, they're surely a top four, even though it's having a shop. And to be fair, your starting striker has four goals. I think Ben never had four. This game at home against City as well. Generally the first. Okay, Gabriel got sent off. And then Rodri. Same minute for Lou. City wouldn't have won it without that Rodri goal. Spurs took six points off City and two points off Liverpool. 3-1-0 wins in a row. Yeah, Spurs were top and Arsenal 20th in the third game. And Palace away, Tanganga gets them off. Edward scores twice. Did you not get set how United? Yeah, you did. Connor, his first game was Everton. Third one, two goals against Leicester at the end, massive. One nil against Watford, 90 plus six. Spurs went and got Kulaseski and Benenka in January. Arsenal got no one. Spurs have the third best front three in the league. Spurs had a minus one goal difference in game 22, it's now 29. Said so Chelsea would finish third, and I've been right since it's their 15th game. Looks like Arsenal will beat them 4 2, they were saying they were going to finish third, Arsenal. It says 76, but they don't score many. There was a 7 0 and a 6 0 in there. 0 0 against Liverpool in the cup twice. And also their strikers are Werner and Lukaku. Liverpool have gone on being at home for a full season now. Not last season, but the three before that. Tell me how, as a Watford fan, Inter beat them at home, they already threw. Chelsea had 10 men in that game. Havertz scored an insane head off. 2 0 up at a home against Brighton. 82nd minute equalizer from Brentford. It was a loss 3 to the West Ham. And finally, City lost the first game to Spurs. And after that, how about a nice, easy home game against Norwich? Absolute bastards. Also, a nice, easy home game against Arsenal. Southampton stopped them scoring at the Etihad. I thought it was done after that. Liverpool would have it. Maybe a Chelsea, I don't know where they were. Palace at the Etihad. I think the Paul got sent off. They weren't scoring that many past teams at times. Only it's five against Burnley and five against Watford. That game, Rodri Campbell could have relegated Everton. Cover option. Glad I'm not in the league. They also have Haaland next season. I watched this game away at Palace. He didn't make a sob. Sterling left on the bench. Oh yeah, they nearly won nothing. Let's start here not sure last minute. Champions League with Regal somehow. Looking like the results are beatable, but no one else is near them. Spurs are winning it next year.